Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem using the concepts of vectors as forces. So as per the problem, four forces of magnitude 5 Newton, 9 Newton, 10 Newton and 14 Newton are arranged as shown. So these are the four given forces. Determine the resultant of these forces. <coughs> So in this problem, we have to find the resultant of these four forces. Uh, whenever we have to find the resultant of three or more forces, it's always easier to use the component method. So for this problem, we'll use the component method. So the first step here is to write down the X and Y components of these four forces. And for that, we'll prepare a chart. So first let's label these four forces as F1, F2, F3 and F4. F1, F2, F3 and F4. Now we can prepare the chart. So let's start with F1. So F1 is directed to the right side. So the X component is 10 Newtons. And it's positive because it's directed to the right side. So the typical vector notation we use is that any vector directed to the right side and upward is positive. And any vector directed to the left side or in the downward direction are negative. And the y component of f1 is 0 because this vector is horizontal. And for f2, the x component is 0 and the y component is 9 newtons. And for f3, the x component is negative 5 newtons. And the y component is 0. And for f4, the x component is 0 and the y component is negative 14. So there's a very important concept you need to understand and memorize. Now we can calculate the total for the x and the y components. So for x we have to do 10 plus negative 5 which is equal to 5 and for y we have to do 9 plus negative 14, which is equal to negative 5. Now we can use these x and y components of these four forces to find the resultant. So we have to draw a vector triangle and we'll arrange these vectors in tip to tail or head to tail format to draw the vector triangle and find the resultant. So the total of the x component is positive. So we'll draw this x component in the po positive direction so to the right side. <coughs> so this is fx. So the total force in the x direction. And fy is negative. So we'll draw it in the downward direction. So the tail of fy will be at the tip or the head of fx. So this is F1. And the resultant of these forces is the third side of this triangle. So R is the resultant vector. 
and this is a right angle triangle because x and y directions are perpendicular to each other. So we can find the magnitude of r, the resultant, by using Pythagorean theorem. So we know the length of the horizontal side, which is the magnitude of frx, which is equal to 5, or the length of the uh, vertical side, or the magnitude of fy is equal to 5. So the Pythagorean theorem equation will be And we should use the vector cap for fx and f1. Now we can sub in the values. Now we can apply square root to both sides. So on the left side, the square root and the square will cancel each other out. So the magnitude of resultant vector is 7.5. So I rounded the answer to two decimal places. So this is the magnitude of the resultant. Now we have to find its direction. And for that, we should find angle theta. Because theta is the angle <coughs> made by the resultant with the fx. So now we can use the Sokotoa because this is a right angle triangle. So we can use tan ratio. formula for tan is opposite over adjacent so we have to use the magnitude of fy and magnitude of fx Now we can do the inverse of tan. So theta equals 45 degrees. So that means the resultant is 7.07 .07 Newton. So that's the magnitude and the direction is so from east, 45 degrees south. Because f and x is directed to the right side and that's where east is. And from the east direction, we are going 45 degrees to the south to get to the resultant vector. So this should be the final answer for this problem. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it, and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.